complexo instruments were specifically created and meticulously designed to solve some of the significant clinical problems that arise during the process of tooth extraction, they complement the traditional line, which remains absolutely effective. But in certain specific clinical situations, traditional instruments had some limitations that the new Blackson line aims to overcome. First of all, uh, there are two different lines within the Blexo range, one called Pathfinder and the other called Angle Fit. The, the Blexo Pathfinder instruments are designed to achieve effective periotomy in all those situations where traditional instruments are not particularly suitable or are difficult to use. In particular, when faced with roots that have a circular cross-section, the use of the first extractor, which is commonly used as the initial extractor, presents the problem of having a flat triangular surface. This means that after the first few millimeters of penetration, it starts to impact against the bony surface of the socket no longer moving properly within the periodontal space, but instead hitting the lateral bony walls. For this reason, the Blexo Micro was developed, which features a cross-section with parallel walls rather than triangular ones like the first extractor. And most importantly, it has both a minimal thickness and a minimal width. This allows it to be used even on teeth with a circular cross-section as it can penetrate all around the surface of the tooth. And the effectiveness of the periodontomy, that is the cutting of the sharpest fibers that make up the periodontal ligament, is due to the fact that the surfaces of the micro are extremely sharp and the thickness of the tip is extremely thin. In addition to this, another instrument has also been created, still with a triangular shape reminiscent of extractor number one, for all those teeth that actually have a generally flat surface on the root, at least in certain areas. For example, this can be the case with lower molars, which normally have, at least on the mesial root, a flat surface at the interproximal level. However, the problem that sometimes, though, not always occurred with extractor number one was its limited ability for the tip to penetrate due to the instrument being excessively thick. That's precisely why the slim was also carefully created, serving as another essential instrument in the Plexo product line, which quite closely follows the general shape of extractor one, but is considerably thinner and noticeably sharper. So it offers a superior capacity and efficiency as a periotome compared to the efficiency of the osteotome that is a, the tip of extractor one. The same goes for extractor two, which is uh, commonly used in most extractions and uh, is an extractor that allows you to start levering the tooth. So it does have a, a periotome effect, but it also has the ability to be rotated in order to transmit movement to the tooth. However, sometimes the thickness of this instrument is such that its ability to penetrate becomes limited. That's why another Blexo was created called the Blexo Long Root, which also has a shape uh, similar to the extractor too, but with a thinner profile and a larger working surface. This allows it to be used to penetrate even deeper into the root, making it particularly useful in cases of fractured apices because it can work at greater depths. It's also useful for canines, which typically have a circular root shape since the instrument itself has a circular working surface. A Blexo arc was also created, which has a, a more specific use, namely to perform proper periodontia in the interproximal area of the teeth where the crowns are still present. 
this arc shape allows the tip of the instrument to be brought below the contact point and to work in an area that is more difficult to reach with traditional instruments which have a straight shape. The distinctive feature of all these black saw instruments is that they have minimal thickness compared to traditional instruments. Now, the reduced size also makes them particularly suitable for use in situations where there are fractured roots in which it is difficult to get a grip for extraction. We have already mentioned that the black soil long root extractor is ideal for retrieving apices or fractured roots. The same goes for the micro instrument, which precisely because of its minimal size is able to luxate those apices that are difficult to reach with other instruments. As for the comprehensive black soil line, there is also a specialized set of instruments, precisely called angle fit which thoughtfully includes four distinct instruments, each meticulously designed with its working end angled in four uniquely different directions. These are instruments with a straight handle and a tip angle at 30 degrees, similar to other elevators commonly used in extraction surgery, such as Friedman or Fluor elevators, but with the other advantage of being compatible with magnetodynamic surgery. In fact, one of the general problems with using elevators is that you can't transfer the application of force a bit deeper into the periodontal space. But with the magnetic mallet, this becomes possible. Therefore, even when using these angle fits, it is possible to transfer this type of force, simplifying certain extraction procedures as I was saying, there are four different tips, or rather the tip is the same, but comes in four different angles. And specifically, we identify one mesial instrument, one distal, one right, and one left. The mesial angle fit is designed to be applied to the mesial surface of the dental elements, and this type of tip inclination makes it particularly suitable for extracting wisdom teeth, especially lower mesially inclined wisdom teeth, where it is easier to access the mesial surface of the tooth. As I mentioned earlier, once the tip has penetrated, you can rotate your wrist to facilitate the extraction. The same goes for the distal angle, which allows you to approach the last teeth from the distal side, simplifying the procedures. In particular, the right and left angulations have also been included specifically to retrieve roots that may have fractured deep within the sockets, thus providing easier access. All these four angle fits are uh, instruments uh, characterized by being extremely sharp and rather thin, similar to the other uh, black saw instruments, so uh, penetration remains one of the main features of this type of tool. However, since they are a bit sturdier compared to the thinner pathfinders, it is also possible to apply a rotational movement, allowing these instruments to be used as levers. With the black saw pathfinder and the black saw angle fit, the idea is to refine the use of the magnetic mallet even in extraction surgery situations where traditional instruments showed some limitations. With this, I hope I have clarified the use of the instruments and I remain available for any further questions.